guys, this is going to be a cube combination tutorial video. Thank you so much for uh, getting my cube fusion video to 209 views. I'm surprised that I even got 200 plus views. Also a tip, never ever join a public server. Your stuff will get stolen. If you try to upgrade someone's weapon, they won't even let you. So then I'm gonna destroy it. I'm gonna join them. Not my main save, but this is a tutorial video. I'm gonna try to make a mid-game game tutorial as well. Also, this is my friend's private server. He didn't, oh, that's good. He didn't do anything yet. Firstly, you uh, get a you get a you need gold and iron. Actually, the first thing you should be doing is making an attack cube, which is a dirt cube, and then wood cube. Click with the pack cube, and then put the gold cube on a white cube, and then find an and then burn dirt cubes until you get an iron cube, and then combine those. RNG moment. The lag is so annoying. I wish there wasn't as much lag. Then, if you're a piece of iron, you uh, then add iron to a white cube, then add that iron cube to the gold cube, then to make a forge cube. And when you have the for when you have a forge cube, you have to burn more dirt until you get another piece of iron. And then when you get another piece of iron, you put it on a white cube. And then combine the then put the iron cube on the forge cube to make a plate cube. Then make a pack cube, which is a wood cube and dirt cube. And now I can store for now I can hold three items. I wasn't originally make a, I was originally gonna make a back backpack cube, but then they changed the recipe and I do not know how to make it anymore. So I didn't get a gold cube. And then more dirt cubes. And then get another iron cube. I mean iron, this piece of iron. So laggy. Now you combine those two to make a sword. And then uh, put a gold cube, then find a gold cube. Get a gold cube, then you're gonna get two rock cubes. There's a mosquito on my just a bug on my monitor. Now they have a molten sphere. I make a lava cube. Then you get a flame sword. You have to have flame sword. You're gonna do that. Get this sword. Get a piece of gold and then add it to a white cube, add the sword to a gold cube, then add the flame sword and get a gold fire sword. Then you want to take this armor, you could also make a club and then break the chest. But I keep forgetting how to make a club. So now, after you get the full iron. Also, there will be. I'm not gonna be fighting any bosses. And then after that, you want to make. You want to get another piece of iron. And then with this under cube. Get a piece of iron. Add it to a red cube. 
then you get a throwable cube, then you want to get an ice cube, put it, make sure there's no iron in the, make sure there's no iron there, and then uh, put the ice cube in the furnace, and then put the water cube you get in the furnace, you get a steam cube, and then find the rock cube, turn it to a sand. And then you burn the sand cube. Then you combine the gunpowder cube with the explosive cube. And then this part takes a long time. So you want to get a dirt cube. Cube, white cube, and gold cube, gold, gold, a uh, gold with white cube. Then combine the iron cube and gold cube. Boy, there's a forge cube in there. Cause that makes it a lot easier. Now you have your two forge cubes. You want to get one piece of iron. You want to get one piece by burning dirt. You need to burn this game, it had lots of RNG. I'm pretty sure one time I got like gold and copper six times in a row. It sucked. Sometimes uh, you get too lucky and then you just get gold and iron and then uh, when you need copper to build the bridge. Is this good? Seriously, gonna happen on video. Serious. I think I'm just gonna drop all my items so I can pick up more dirt. Again? Again, okay, more dirt. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna reach the limit. I'm gonna, literally gonna reach the limit. Oh my, okay, finally a piece of iron. But I'm first just gonna use the gold. I should have just uh, used the gold first. I did not mean to make that. And then, uh, so you just make a gold cube. And then add a, what, to one of the forge cubes. Then, oh, there was a piece of iron there. Is there a pyrolite there? Okay. So then you add the iron to a white cube. To make an iron cube. Then you add the iron cube to the forge cube to make a plate cube. Then combine both. And then make sure there's no iron. And there is a piece of iron. You do not want to burn. Uh, you do not want to melt an ice cube when there's iron. The only way you... If you, if you have the compressor, you sh you can do that because uh, you can just turn it back into iron, but you can't do that with uh, a rusted iron cube. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, now. With your water cube, you want to go to the ice cube to make a glacier cube. And then with the glacier cube, you need to get two rocks. I should just drop the explosive on the floor because I'm using that. And then add the rock there. Add the molten sphere to another rock. And now add it to the glacier cube. You get cold, cool lava cube. You add it to a gold plate cube to make it richer. And now you need more iron. Good thing you don't need- you, oh! Oh, good thing that- I didn't even know that was it. Okay. So now, now find a white cube. Okay. I'm running from that, I have a lot of white cubes. Now you have an iron cube. And then get a piece of gold. And then add it to the- Add it to a white cube, and then add it to make a forge cube, then get a gold cube, but that's how it's on there, that is a gold cube. Now, you do. now add the forge cube to make a wealth cube, now go to your enricher, and then make an enrichment cube, then drop the enrichment cube on the... Uh, 
and your uh, enricher. And then you get an impact cube. They nerf this. They got rid of like 50% of its damage. Actually, no. It's like, they got rid of like 60% of its damage. It's now 40, not 60 anymore. I do 66%. I'm 33. <laughs> but it explodes instantly, unlike a bomb cube, which takes 5 seconds to explode after you. I mean, explosive cube after. Dropped. Dropped. So after you get an impact, after you get the impact cube, you want to get all the copper you have and then turn them into blocks and then put them on. Put them on a yellow. Put them on a green bridge first. Don't go red and uh, purple. They're very risky if you don't know strategies on how to do tank. Tank. So you want to go here first so you can make so you have access to spike armor, and that's gonna be in the next tutorial. Just make copper cubes, and then you do that until you make it to the green platform. Also, tip: never go to don't fight hammered on you. Do not fight the second boss of the yellow platform. Do fight, don't fight the third boss of the ye of the yellow platform as well, and don't fight the third boss of the green platform. I struggled even with four players. And uh, that's it. But if you want, you can just make a shield. If you don't want to die with your gear, you can just make a shield. Wait, wait, I can't use that. So you get gold. Add it to a white cube, and then add it to a blue cube to make it armor. And there are a couple, there are four, or there are five things you can do with this. So I recommend if you want to make armor, set them out in this array. So there you know what piece is which. So blue is helmet, the magenta is your chest plate, then red is I'm pretty sure leggings, and then yellow is boots. And to make these cubes, you to make a magenta to make a magenta cube easily, you have to mix a red cube with a blue cube. Then if you want to make a yellow cube, you have to mix a red cube with a green cube to make a yellow cube. After you have this array, and uh, if you want to. Uh, get like gold armor or cryo armor in the future or pyrolite you can just use this array and then you can add the armor cube to either each one any piece you want but no if you are making armor if you're making armor you have to add cube variants you have to add gold cube iron cube and pyrolite cube and uh, i don't know how you make cryo armor you have to reset. You have to reset because you can't wear armor when you already have armor. You can't. You can't just go press tab and or like go here or press something to uh, take the armor off and then wear it. You just have to reset. Or there's something else you can do if you if you follow the tutorial and if you kill if you destroy the crate you can just take the armor. This is probably best for the first boss. And then you can make an iron cube. Put the iron cube right there. And now you have a fifth option. You can either make any set of armor, helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots, or you can make a shield. Shield is recommended for hard bosses. You add armor to the shield to the iron cube, and then you have a shield. And if, if you're on PC and you want to get and you want to get things to your other hand, you just uh, press F and it goes into your other hand. And now you can do this and right click to use your shield, and uh, it will show the durability of the normal shield here, 653. Now this is probably the last part about the this is the last part of the tutorial. You need to get two iron cubes and two gold cubes, a red cube and a blue cube. You add the dirt cube. 
Also, if, if you need to, you can just uh, press F if you have too many inventory slots and you, in a public server and you don't want anyone stealing your loot. You can just put something in your off end. Also, if you put a, a throwable cube, impact cube, or explosive cube in the your off end, you can still use it by clicking. But I don't really recommend putting an impact cube on your off end. It just generally, you'll probably kill yourself. And then, also, if the copper turns slightly oxidized or. Uh, Heavily oxidized, it doesn't really. It just makes the cop. It just makes it so copper can't turn into a barricade. So then you're gonna add a gold cube to a white cube again. If you are watching this far, you should know. You should know the drill. You need to make a forge cube. Use gold cube and iron cube. And then, how did I miss it? Okay, now. And now you add iron cube to gold cube. You can now, if you you can add it to the red cube or the blue cube. It doesn't matter what order you do it, and I'd recommend getting the speed coil first. <coughs> and then now you have speed. Okay, just kind of like I think the yeah, animation it looks lagging more for me now. Okay, I think I need the reset. I think I need the reset block limit. So now you make an, you do the exact same thing, but then except you add it to a blue cube, and then you combine your speed coil with your jump with your gravity coil when you make it. Then you get a fusion coil, and those are the three coils you know how to make. I don't know how to. I think I think regen is a regen cube and the speed coil. I'm not sure. Where's my gold? Put this right there. Why is it so laggy now? Iron cube. Um, you combine those, then you get a forge cube, and then you mix it with a blue cube, then you get the gravity coil. Then you drop the speed coil and gravity, then you get the fusion coil. And the fusion coil basically mimics both abilities. You jump very high and you go fast. And then after that. You can bring the fusion coil, or you can bring the iron shield. So this is the loadout you're gonna use. You're gonna bring uh, a gold fire sword, impact cube, put the shield in your off hand, and then in some situ, and then uh, when you're in dire situations, you can put this in your third slot just in case you need to run away, or you can make an explosive cube and use that. You can make an impact cube. And that's it for this tutorial. The, the other tutorial will probably come out on the weekend. Maybe it'll come next month. Maybe I won't record. Anyways, I need to. Anyways, bye guys.